And so, life begins again, with a renewed sense of destination. Which reality will it be today? Whose reality? There is an instinct to climb, to reach some sort of pinnacle. But is it the destination, or the journey itself, that draws us forward? Curiosity is strong, and destiny beckons. Onward it is. Memory is an oddly circuitous thing, often dancing in its own circles, a snake perpetually eating its own tail. We can sometimes swear we've seen something before, in another life, echoes of another existence, so familiar, and yet, we've never been here before, have we? But there is something almost tangible, something we've known before. Perhaps not in the exact same form, but enough. We shake the cobwebs clean and press forward, allowing ourselves to be surprised by whatever may lurk around the next bend. There will always be places we are not permitted to enter. Doors that will not open for us. Ladders we cannot climb. Sometimes we might even glance an opportunity, gaping wide for the merest of moments. And if we fail to seize that moment while it exists, it might be gone forever. Ships pass in the night. Two molecules temporarily find themselves inhabiting the same space. So many mountains to climb yet so little time. Every house has ghosts, every building is haunted, even a familiar scent, like the roasting of a chicken in an old stove, can trigger all manner of memories and make us believe that we are welcome. Won't we be surprised when we knock upon the building's door to find no one willing to let us inside?
life is full of ups and downs. Bottomless pits of despair can soon lead to higher and more heavenly places. One can fall a great distance, only to rise much stronger. And as one ascends and struggles to shake themselves free from their own misty blackness, they also free themselves from the hordes of tiny insects that threaten to consume the brain from the inside. Sometimes the way forward is murky, and other times brightly lit, but mainly it lies somewhere in between. It does help, however, to have some kind of path to follow. Otherwise we can find ourselves rudderless and lost. Staying on the straight and narrow can be a challenge at times, but we generally know better than to stray too far to either side, lest we drown in our own indulgence. The relationship between man and nature is brotherly at best, a wicked stepmother at worst. Spat from the womb, we seek solace in new ones. Whichever life we might currently be living, we need somewhere to call home. A part of us envies the creatures of the wild, nestled so warmly inside the forest's belly. If only we could dream our days away and return to the safety we once enjoyed inside our mother's tender confines. So many doors shut right on our noses. So many shadowy faces whose acquaintances we shall never make. Like seed cast forth into a lover's body, the chances of a successful meeting are scant to say the least. How could the world, once so welcoming, suddenly be so ungracious? Perhaps we've done something to offend? We might never know. Lacking acceptance, we settle instead for bliss and push ever forward toward our destination.
Sometimes one's destination becomes clear. Nature sometimes shows us the way. Hidden behind every rock is some secret, calling out to be uncovered. It is up to us whether we choose to lift those rocks and gaze upon whatever lies beneath. Another building. Perhaps there is a friend to be found inside? A companion, even, for the journey which remains ahead. Stranger things have happened. We make so many friends in the course of our many lives. Why not one more in this life? <gasps> Another ghost glimpsed from the corner of our eyes. So near, yet so far, and gone before contact can be made. Just another enigma to be puzzled upon another day. Perhaps there is nothing to be seen here after all. We fear nature in many ways, yet nature often fears us in return. It saddens us to see the deer bolt away, surely it knows that we mean no harm. And yet, are we ourselves aware of what we are capable of, should circumstances arise? The death of another can sometimes mean life for us, and vice versa. Perhaps we would do well to follow in the skittish animal's footsteps, and make haste ourselves. The rays of the sun give us life via the generosity of plants. The fresher the air that we breathe, the closer the animal within us feels to heaven. The light of day smiles down upon us with a glow all its own and pulls us closer to its bosom to suckle the warmth within.
They say that up to 60% of the human body is composed of water. Perhaps this is what draws us so frequently in its direction. To immerse ourselves in it, become one with it, return to our natural selves. We cannot deny what we are, despite our efforts to the contrary. The ocean side can be an ideal place to ponder upon the many lives we could have lived. Perhaps